Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss about one of the most important things in Laravel as a middleware. So what exactly that middleware? Middleware just think about like as a guard. Like I want to explain with some of the example, then that will be very much clear to you. Like simply imagine they have the two type of building. One is the building A, another is the building B. So into this building A, they have one of the user and like he is a one of the employee. And into the building B, they have another person that is one of the businessmen. Now, if you want to meet with the businessman and into the gate, they have one of the guard. So you ask that guard that I want to meet that businessman. Then guard will give you that instructions that you have to go to the building B. They have the one of the person which is a businessman. And also same as if anyone another person is comes to the guard, he want to meet that one of the employee, then security guard will instruct you. There is another person, one of the um, employee which is allocated into the building A. I hope you get that idea. So that is the main security guard as a middleware. So with this middleware, you can manage if his user is logging or logout. So if this user is logging, then it should be redacted to which page. If this user is not authorized, that means if that user is not logging, then what exactly that will be go. Like in real life example, if you are using that YouTube, into this YouTube area, they have some of the videos. If you want to access that video here, you have to must as a 18 years old. Right, so if you are 18 years old, then a middleware will redact it to another page rather than that will be redacted to the another page. So you can manage all the things by this middleware. Better I want to show you that things with the live example, then that will be more clear to you. Like if you want to create that middleware, they have some of the by default middleware. If you go to the Laravel side, as I told you, you can see they have some of the by default middleware. That is one of the by default middleware as an authenticated middleware. And into this authenticated, the, with this, it will be checked that user is locking or not. If this user is locking, then that will be returned redirect to the par par particular another page. Rather than that will be returned redirect to the other page. Okay, that is one of the by default middleware. So that is an authenticated middleware. So we'll use it a lot of the time. Now I want to do and to create one of the new middleware. Okay, for better understanding, I want to create another new middleware. If you go to the Laravel official website, and here if you go to that basic, and you can see that is a middleware. If you select as a middleware, and into this middleware, if you want to create it, that, that is the command line as a PHP artisan make middleware, and then that will be your middleware name. Like I copy it. I want to do and to create on the new middleware. I copy it, and now in our particular server is now running. And here, right, that is a basic project. I want to do and to paste it. I want to create on the middleware as a check. Okay, I make it as a check. Ace. So this type of one of the middleware now I want to create. Now if you click as a enter, now all that our middleware will be saved. That means you can see middleware created successful. You will get that middleware in our middleware into the middleware folder. Here I have created another new middleware as a check age. When you create any middleware, first of all we have to do we have to register it into the kernel.php. That is a simple process, friend. When you create that any middleware into the kernel.php, you have to register it. Simply so go to that kernel.php and into the kernel.php, you can see that is one of the protected route middleware. As I told you, you can see that is one of the middleware as a by default as a authenticated and they are actually name it by the name as auth. So we will use this auth lot of the time. That is one of the default middleware with this middleware. It should be checked that user is locking or log out. Okay. Simply remember that middleware. We'll use it a lot of the time. Now I want to do and copy it. And now after that, I want to do and to take another one. Okay, that will be our file name. I have already created as into the middleware folder. You can see there is a st there is a app http middleware folder. And here now app http middleware folder i have created another middleware as a check is right i better copy it into the kernel we have to do we have to load it okay i just name it by the name as a check okay i name it as a check whatever the name actually you choose right now i put that name that means if you want to access that middleware now we have to access it by the check here into the protected route middleware area i loaded our um, middleware that is a check is middleware i name it as a check which is totally fine now i want to do to go to our check case here i want to put one of the condition okay here after that i want to do and to put on the condition I better i put on the simple condition there is if condition 
if here all it will be handle all that request i want to done to access that request okay with this request i want to done to access it i want to access our i name it into the kernel i register it by the name as a check right that is our middleware i want to done to access that check and when this check will be as a less than equal like as a 20 okay less than equal 20 then i want to do then that will be the return okay that will be the return and then redirect redirect okay then that will be return redirect to our particular um, some of the page uh, like i want to return redirect to our another view page that i have created as a like as a about okay i make it as a about so like i make it as a about then that will be return redirect to the about page now i want to do i want to allocate it that middleware i want to allocate it that middleware in our which page uh, like in our if you go uh, i want to allocate it in our about page so right now that is our slash about right better i want to make it as again clean as about here i want to do i want to load on the middleware okay i want to simply load it that middleware if you load it that will be same process i want to done to make it as a, um, a middleware and then our middleware name i name that into the kernel as i told you if you want to access that middleware right now you have to access it by the check right so now i want to done to allocate it the check great now our that url is protected by one of the middleware that i have created as a check now if you click as a save all so now if you want to access it here i have already added that middleware so into this middleware area that is our it will be in our about page i have added that middleware right that means our condition into this condition then uh, when that will be less than and equal then i don't want to access i don't want to access that about page when that user will be appropriate or um, that means it will be done our uh, condition when that will be as a um, less than or equal to 20 then that will be returned redirect to the another page better i want to do and to access our another page as a contact page right i have already named it our contact that is a contact blade so better i want to name it as a contact page okay then that will be returned direct to the contact page because here i have already added that our middleware in our about now let's check this out if you know click as a save all now if you want to access that about okay if you want to access that about everything will be very clear i refresh it and now i want to do want to access that about okay if you want to access that about click as a enter yes you can see you are not able to access our about page if you click as a enter it's return redirect to the contact page okay if you go to our home from to the home i want to also check it click as a home so that is our home page Okay, that is our home page and into this home page now if you want to access that our about not able to access that about page it's returned redirect to contact page because here i have already added one of the condition right here i have already added that condition as a that is it should be returned redirect to the contact page oh, first of all it should be uh, when that our condition will be as a true that means when our check will be less than equal the 20 then that will be loaded our about page like i i want to do and to check it if you want to check it like that is our about after that about i want to do and to put that in our condition and okay and i want to name it as a check right i name it as a here if you go i name that condition that will be the check as a less than 20. so now i want to do and to use it i want to use it as a check and check will be our id our id when like right now <laughs> that it will be one of the id so i make it as a 22. now if you click as a enter okay now if you click as a enter yes you can see now you are able to access our about page okay that is one of the id so here i have actually put that condition when it should be check as a less than or equal 21 then that will be written redirect to the contact page rather than that will be that will be access our about page right now our that condition is true for the reasons you can see it's now loaded our about page but if you make it as a uh, like i name take it as a 10 right now that's condition is not appropriate right now that should be written redirect to the contact page now if you click as a enter hmm, you can see it's now returned to the contact page i hope friend you get that idea how to protect your all that your url 
so here i have already added one of the condition when that condition will be as a true then that will be executed our um, which page that will be executed our about page i have already loaded that middleware and else here i have already added that condition else it will be returned directly to the contact page and you can see when our condition is false then that will be returned direct to the contact page so if you want to access that our about page here make that sure you have to um, um, add your appropriate condition that means when that will be less than 10 then you are not able to access it here we have to do we have to add it as a check 22 okay when that will be 22 then you are able to access our about page I hope you get little idea how middleware actually work literally we'll do a lot of work with this middleware everything will be very much clear to you so friend that is all that our basic things okay that is all that our basic things step by step will go more deep so you know next video i want to do right now we don't need this okay simply clean everything so you know next video i want to install laravel one of the default authentication as a laravel breeze authentication how can install it so you'll do a lot of work with breeze authentication i hope you will like it very much so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video